You are different from everyone else. Your face is different from everyone else's. Your fingerprints are different from everyone else's. And of course, your heart is different from everyone else's. And we know that different people have different needs. That's why we have personalized diets, personalized medication, and even a general practitioner who knows us and understands what is important for us. But your heart, important as it is, isn't getting the personalized attention it deserves. Wouldn't it be great to know all your heart's particular quirks and twists without even touching it? Wouldn't it be great if we could test treatments and procedures before jumping into the real thing? Well, get ready for personalized in silico cardiology, your digital heart. PIC is the European Innovative Training Network that is training 15 future innovation leaders to make this a reality. We are an interdisciplinary team spread across all of Europe, collaborating with universities, enterprises and hospitals to ensure that our research makes it into everyday life. Of course, there is no self-respecting scientific endeavour without some quality data. That's why we try to get accurate measurements on how hearts behave, both from animals and humans alike. Sick animals are treated with novel treatments, healthy ones are used as control for experiments, and any of them as validation for our mathematical models. On the other hand, human patients and volunteers have all sorts of measurements taken, sound, pressure, images and videos of their hearts, and even the patterns of flow of their blood to get an accurate, strong foundation for our mathematical models. However, most of the time, we need to find the needle in the haystack, and our fellows are researching how to do precisely that, as fast and accurately as possible, using deep learning algorithms. It allows a more natural understanding of images and the way that you know doctors are used to looking at images, it allows you to train an algorithm to understand it in the same way and that gives leads to very powerful techniques. For example, we are researching whether a cardiovascular disease can change the way your heart sounds when it beats or the way it looks and whether we could diagnose and treat people better based on this data. Based on the shape features that you can extract from the patient today, you can predict how his heart is going to look like in a couple of years. And that's the heart of our project using mathematical and computer models of the heart to better understand the complex processes within it. After all, every single heartbeat starts with an electrical shock born in the cells of your cardiac muscles. If the patient has disorder in the electrical behavior of the heart, then uh, the heart can't contract as it should be, so the blood would not be able to flow naturally from that, uh, from to ventricles and then to the body. We're trying to reverse engineer that electrical behavior from images and electrical measurements, figure out how it affects our heart and even simulate what's happening inside each cell when that shock happens. This makes the heart muscle contract, but how exactly will change from patient to patient? However, we can use personalized heart motion data to then try new treatments. And sometimes we need to know how blood actually flows through the heart, which is why we're also using computational fluid dynamics to digitally simulate those processes and better understand certain conditions or design devices like synthetic valves. For example, a lot of valve diseases are caused by a valve not being open enough or closing badly so that blood goes backward and you don't want that because then it uh, progressively um, causes problems to the patient. Our goal is to shape the treatments of the future. We can use all the tools and methods we've developed along the way to simulate, for example, the effect a certain drug will have not only on their cells, but on an individual's heart based on their own personalized data. And the same is true for devices like pacemakers. But we want to go even further. We want our findings to inform how future devices will be made. 
We want better and more affordable treatments for everybody, which is why we're partnering with companies like Medtronic, GE or Theops to actually make our vision a reality. We want a future where personalized cardiology helps us get better diagnoses and treatments for patients everywhere. And we want to help practitioners do their job by giving them the best tools we can develop, which is why we're also partnering with hospitals and physicians to see how to best include the tools we're developing into the medical workflow of the future. Accomplishing all of this, of course, would be impossible without some next level collaboration. The PIC network spans across 14 countries between fellows, universities, hospitals and manufacturers, all working together towards the same goal, shaping the cardiology of tomorrow. And tomorrow, mind you, is just one day away from today. Get ready for personalized in silico cardiology, your digital heart.